2017 and I was doing my thing at the Penny Marathon where once a year humans and dogs run around the world to raise awareness for the voiceless. At some point I saw him in his wheelchair. I've met a lot of dogs in wheelchairs. I've met them at the marathon, I've met them in their foster homes, I've heard their stories and I've retold their stories countless times. I like to think that I'm thick-skinned, but with Alfredo I cracked. I had to take a long breath, hold back the tears, and for the rest of the event I actually avoided him. I'm not sure what it was about him. Maybe because this one's body looked more beaten than usual. His spine, the fact that he was so underweight. Or maybe it was that he was a hunting dog. I grew up with hunting dogs. I have one. I know them. Hunting dogs are born to be free. I've seen mine run up and down mountains and hills and beaches following those smells that he was born to track. It's all about the freedom with these dogs. Depriving a hound of such a freedom is like taking away their nature, their existence. I learned his story soon after, abandoned somewhere near a garbage dump, like one of the hundreds of hunting dogs that are not useful anymore. He was found dragging the bottom half of his body with wounds all over his legs, full of ticks and infected with leishmaniasis. That's gotta be one of the shortest of the short ends of any stick. Alf was rescued in 2015 by volunteers. It's always volunteers here in Greece. If it weren't, a dog like him would have been put down because I guess state would see this as something just not worth keeping around. But volunteers see other things. They don't see the money spent or the time wasted. They see something different. Between his horrible past, his heartbreaking story, the marathons and the perseverance of the rescuers, Alf managed to become famous in Greece. But the pleas for a forever home were left unanswered. He would run the Penny Marathon every year since that first time, in his wheelchair. For this one day, every year, he'd be in the spotlight. All eyes were on him, including mine. After my first reaction, when I saw him accidentally and then refused to look again, year after year, for the next years, I couldn't get my eyes off of him. There was so much life and so much soul and so much character in that body. The last time I saw him was in the Penny Marathon of 2019. Once again, he ran in his wheels together with the handicapped dogs. We photographed them together. Is that what they were, those dogs and him? Handicapped. Is that the only thing people would see? A spectacle. A willpower only to be admired from a distance. As the marathon ended that year, Alf got out of the wheelchair. And there he was, with his body and his soul exposed looking around as the event was ending and the people started leaving. He looked so vulnerable and at the same time he looked stronger than ever. And in a way he looked wise. As I was staring at him I kept thinking that this would be his last marathon. He was already nine years old and dogs like him are too sensitive to live very long. I suddenly felt overwhelmed with a crippling sadness. Was Alfredo going to be remembered as the handicapped dog who ran marathons, not Alfredo who was loved by a family? Would this be his legacy? As it turned out, this would be his last marathon. A few months later, he left Greece for good. He left for New York where a family was waiting for him. And just as he arrived, that family changed their minds. <laughs> Seriously. Of all the dogs out there, the millions, this is the one you chose to do this to. 
You know, some people, just like some dogs, are just plain unlucky, and Alf seemed to be one of them. He got the short end of the stick again, and there he was, miles away from home, in foster care again. The only thing that changed was the latitude. <laughs> the campaign to find him a forever home in New York this time was more aggressive than all the previous attempts dating back four years. And you know what? Sometimes all you need is a big setback. Something bad enough to push you over the edge. And right before you fall, you fight back and come around stronger than ever. And that's what Alfredo and the amazing people around him did. And it worked. Stacy and her family caught him right before falling, when he appeared to be at his lowest, but was actually at his strongest. And for the past nine months, they have been unwriting his past and rewriting his future. A future that includes things any pet dog's life should, which I will not bother describing because I'll sound as cheesy as ever. You can see for yourselves. After all, this is a dog that I admire from a distance, but I have only met three times. He had been in the spotlight for nearly five years while belonging nowhere. And now that he finally belongs, I guess it's time to let go and leave him live his life. From this dog, I learned that giving up is not an option, it's a choice. Some choose to stop trying and are left with just a could've, and some others never do. And despite all his bad luck, Alf was lucky to be surrounded by people who never gave up on him. Weird coincidence, this year's marathon was cancelled due to COVID-19. It would be the first year Alfredo would not participate, and I know it's a global pandemic and all, but in my mind, I like to think that it just wasn't meant to happen without him. Bounce it for him. Bounce it. Oh, that was a little too far. Try again. Just bounce it, just bounce it so he can reach it. Get it, get it. Get it. He's stuck. Get it. Get it. Oh, good boy. Hello, I am Valia. If you like the videos, please subscribe and if you can, join me on Patreon and help create more compassionate people. Para la versión del canal en castellano, busquen el enlace abajo.